Okay, it worked this time. I do, however, need to update the commanders. I can do very quickly. Alright, we've got Koji being played by Rose Pozo versus uh, Tenry being played by Marco Mouse. They are taking this to Cloak and Dagger. And yeah, I am intrigued as to how this is going to go. We've seen a lot of very interesting games on Cloak and Dagger so far. I was going to bear remember to um, stream to the Discord as well. Oh, yes, I can do that. Um, but. Okay. Koji versus Tenry. We've got Heaven Song matchup. Not something you get to see too much. Uh, Getting to play the fun commanders and the balanced ones. Yeah, yeah I think like there's a general consensus that this is kind of around the strength commanders should be. Like, yeah, roughly. I agree with that. Um, high impact when they can actually do their thing, but uh, definitely like weaknesses and downsides. Like Koji, you know, the yeah. bombs are quite fragile. Tenry, she just has a very long charge time on her groove, and it's not much simpler counterplay is a good good way to to put it yeah. compared it's to like vesper play. like how do you fight something you can't interact with is kind of a tough tough yeah. question all of them have some variability in how like effective their groups can be but at their mat at their like good use cases they are still very strong and very impactful that feels fun and i guess like Tenry doesn't like wipe an army with her groove. Like she just like destroys like a key unit, and Koji's more like can do some like serious damage or just like go for a lethal. But yeah, it's not like a a wolf R where it just like deletes like a big chunk of an enemy army and kills a key unit. Uh, looks like Michael's going kind of heavily in the bottom right. I'm wondering if is actually going to get trapped for it. Yeah, although I think the knight can uh, it can't escape actually. No, it can actually go like loop around and like heal off at the village, and that might be the play. Yep, there we go. And yeah, you lose the village for that, but you know you slow your opponent down a bunch. Um, they have to spend a bunch of time killing this knight, which they don't even kill. And enemy commander are gonna take a little bit of chip damage for this as well, which is uh actually ends up being kind of significant in the long term just because like it stops being able to like one shot swords and for example okay Resposo are just turtling up in the, the top side gets a bunch of spears Resposo likes going like heavy spears on the defending racks I've seen some people do it like different ways of defending but oh that's that's good yeah, that is Most huge. Most heavy units to deal with the knights. Um, the archer gets hit here, though, I think. Oh, but then there's a golem behind it, so... <laughs> yeah, I think it goes deep and here's gonna get punished for it. That said, Koji Bomb's gonna be active relatively soon. Yeah. Might even be this turn. Gonna... No. Um, yeah. I think gonna wait next turn. Gets close. They would have been really spooky, actually. You could just block the enemy golem in. Yeah, that would be funny. Uh, yeah, I suppose they're doing a good job setting up to, to take this uh, barracks in the bottom. And the spear wall holding on top. Yeah, that's going to be incredibly difficult to break. Okay, Terry just gonna walk in and hit. And I don't know if there's just like enough here to break this wall. Yeah. I mean, don't you could do is. something like sneaky, like you could like throw your. If you position Terry correctly, you could like throw your at night behind the opponent's line and kill the barracks that way or something, but. Problem is, you still have enough units to actually just recap it fine. Yeah, that's true. Uh, does bombs come out here? No. Nope, just goes for it. I mean, that's fair. It's gonna be a bit weaker. Like that, 40. that missing chunk of health is actually like quite a big deal. But 
that being said, Maze Heal comes in after and Oh wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, goes for the hit on Tenry? Interesting. Is that just gonna be Oh or Spear is just gonna get built on that side. Okay. I guess just ones with that extra chip damage. Okay. Ooh, but Marco doing a decent job up on this top side. Kind of slowly grinding their way through this. And yeah, I just don't know what Tenry can do. I mean, maybe like tries to get up to tier two and like throws a unit across the map or something. <laughs> yeah. Snipes Koji with like a unit from the top. Classic Never Tenry. underestimate the Tenry Hail Mary. It <laughs> is proven time and time again to exist. You know, forbidden technique. Yeah. But I suppose this formation up here is just so much stronger than. Uh, Marcos. Also has a better groove for breaking the barracks, I would say. That's true. If you follow that barracks is so vulnerable. Like if there was an archer up here, like, you just pick that off. And then like yeah. you're set up to just continually pick it off. Ooh, Ooh. Hello. Is this the groove on the knight? Oh on a... that's actually not oh, a bad idea. <laughs> Cause there now the barracks is just shut down. Uh, and the knight doesn't die, which is the very key thing. And this barracks... Koji gets T2. How close is Koji to T2? I feel like it's very close. Oh, could have finished the golem. Oh, was that a... was that a misclick? I feel like that was probably a misclick. I don't know, he captured the village. Maybe he just thinks... Oh, well, I, did, I didn't deal. realize the... Okay, I thought that village was already capped. Never mind. Okay. There is a night crit lined up on this barracks. I don't think there's anything to stop it from happening either, so. Uh, oh, couldn't do anything to decap the barracks again. Yeah, you night getting hit, man, you lost your heavy unit. So yeah. you need to be Tenry or... You need to be Tenry. In which case you're not damaging the spears. Yeah, or I guess Tenry could have. And then you just like, heal the knight anyway. But... Alright, goodbye barracks. I'm just gonna be able to like, hold on to T2 for after this. That's terrifying. Yeah, that, yeah, it looks like, that means Tenry's gonna have to back off at this point. Because she just dies if she stays there, I think. Oh, the knight healing on that village is huge as well. Because Tenry has to run uh -oh. all the way back. <laughs> And there's a golem right in Tenry's face. Yeah, and this archer should have been here earlier, honestly. Yeah. That's like the unit you really want for breaking. Okay. More stuff gonna go down. The mage is gonna go down. Okay. So did a good job clearing up at this top side, but is now in the struggle of like my barracks is under threat. Yeah, and this is oh, still isn't using bombs. Interesting. Yeah, I mean you could even just like get them out just to hold them. Yeah. Okay, barracks is now fully flipped. I, there's no way to contest this back, so. Yeah. As long as Resposa doesn't lose their barracks up in the top, which is looking pretty solid right now, actually. Yeah. Can't get captured this turn. Archer comes in. All right, he's gonna maybe decap it. That knight not gonna have enough health to do so, but I guess that we're... looks like death to me. Oh, Koji. Because you have Koji, you have Hex, you have Golem. Is that death? Might not be. Maybe this barely. Not yeah, Flagstone as well. Yeah, that's gonna be pretty safe, I think. And you just threaten death on your opponent the whole time, so... I think they're okay. I don't know about capturing with the sword from that tile, but I... It keeps the... 
Oh, but Archer can do some damage. Oh, hits the golem. Interesting. I'm not going to decap this turn if Archer hits the golem. Yeah, we'll just let you go for the sword instead. But... Okay. While there's stuff in the north going on, though, like, Respose is just fully overrun the so bottom side. Yeah, oh, builds a harpy and immediately dies. <laughs> yeah, oh, we're gonna see the flip of the terror as well. Yeah. And now you're producing air of your opponent's barracks. Yep. I think oh, you, can, <laughs> you can steal the hide on them. You get all their stuff in the bottom left as well. I mean, it's overkill already, but that's. Yeah. That is a very quick way to flip your opponent's barracks there as well. Another golem? Yep, another golem in Tenry's face. Yeah, and yeah, she just doesn't have enough to deal with this, and there's so much economy getting flipped on the south side now that. Like, there's not really much to do here, and knights are strong units, but not that strong. Okay. Harpy crits the golem, but it's gonna get killed by a mage in return for it. Yeah, like, you don't even really care that the barracks is in your opponent's hands now because you just got so much stuff here. And is Rispoza just gonna win this without pressing Groove? I guess that is a question. Big Knight Crit comes in. Getting ready to kill their opponent's barracks. The only production Marco is going to have in the near future is going to be this barracks in the north. It's very funny to think about. And yeah, even just like hits the commander with swords. And normally this is a terrible idea, but... You're this far ahead, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, Marco builds Golem. I think recognizes that this barracks in the north is like the one thing they've got left. Oh, heals their knight. So this barracks here is just... Oh, I couldn't build anything that would live anyway, so... That makes sense. And yeah, Marco has what, like, a handful of units left to, to fight with? I suppose they're just massively outnumbering at this point. Oh, and Tenry's dead. I guess the question is, how do you kill here? Oh, kills with the pushback of the bombs. I think she's low enough for the next bomb to actually kill. And I suppose they're going to finish this one in style. Yep. Pushes their own golem into Tenry and kills. Yeah. Ooh, and that's a kill count. <laughs> Is a kill count indeed. Well played, Respose are gonna take it. And I think the key difference there is Marco had a very offensive um barracks in the bottom side and didn't really have quite enough stuff to break their opponent's storm, um formation. Whereas Respose just built like kind of cheap, heavy hitting units like spears in their barracks and just like overwhelmed the barracks in the south with commander support. Yeah. That's it.